with some goodies the PS man brought me today. We have a Rampage 5 Extreme. We got the EVGA Supernova, the 1300 G2 here. Um, this guy seems to have some pretty awesome reviews, especially when it comes to the price and a $35 rebate on top of it. So it only ends up costing 125 bucks um, for a pretty solid power supply. It's definitely got some weight to it. Um, Rampage 5 over replacing this Gigabyte X99 the G1 gaming Wi Fi board. Um, this has pissed me off in a previous video with the SLI. Um, it could be fixed soon, I don't know, but I don't feel like waiting. And I knew I should have just bought the Asus one to begin with because I didn't have the Maximus 5 formula. And I love that board. Um, no problems with that one. I'm just looking to sell it, that's about it. And I also have three of these Gigabyte G1 Gaming um, the GTX 980 versions. Um, I was thinking about the 970s, but I said, ah, screw it, why not? I may add a fourth one in the future. I'm just kind of curious to see what, like, folding at home will bring me for results on these. Um, I know the 970s are pretty damn good. The 980s are going to be even more um, compared to my 780s. So I am looking forward to that. But we will get started here with the Rampage 5 Extreme. Um, I was actually expecting a bigger box, to be honest. I'm surprised it all fits. But anyways, I have not opened anything yet besides taking it out of the brown box. kinds of gadgets. The OC panel, um, that's probably one of the things that's cool for the first two days and then never touch it again. The OC socket, I'm kind of curious to see what that does. Um, I know what I got on my Gigabyte board and I'll see what I can get with this board. Um, they claim lower voltages to reach the same overclock um, with the extra pins, but probably more marketing, we will find out. Um, the Keybot, that thing, I don't know, it seems kind of interesting, but at the same time, I guess I don't really know a whole lot about it. Um, the Supreme FX Audio, um, I did love the audio on the Gigabyte board, um, so I'm hoping this is just as good, but I'm not sure, because I know it is still based on that Realtek chip, um, so I'm just not so sure there. Um, we got our M2, M2 port, um, that's definitely an upgrade. The Gigabyte board was pretty much the worst in the class for that at uh, 10 gigabit per second when this is 32, I believe. I'm not sure why they're old school on that compared to everybody else. And this also has the 802.11ac three-way, three antennas instead of two, so it's 1300. Um, I'll never use it. Um, I do use the Bluetooth with my cell phone. Uh, but otherwise, I'm hardwired. Everything is hardwired here in the shop. Um, but we support the new Intor Intel Core i7s on the 2011 V3 socket. Um, it is not the same as the regular 2011 socket. Um, there are 2011 pins, obviously, but it is keyed or notched differently, so it will not fit. Uh, the X99 chipset. We got eight DDR4 slots. On um, the box, it says a max of 64 gigs. Um, I actually, I'm pretty sure that's 128. Uh, maybe originally it wasn't. Um, non EC, quad channel, of course, XMP, the extreme memory profiles, of course, I would hope so. Um, four PCI Express 3.0 times 16 slots. Um, one PCI Express 2.0 times 16 at 4x mode and then a 2.0 1x slide, just a little guy. Um, of course, we support four way SLI and crossfire, which most of the boards do. Um, we got 12 SATA 6 gig ports, uh, four of them are from the SATA Express, and we also have that M.2 socket. But the M key, which um, works with the 60, the 80, and the 110 millimeter long devices. 
um, they must be PCI Express. I know I've read a few comments and people are like, oh my god, it doesn't work. Well, it's because I got a SATA based one. Um, and I don't, make, I don't understand the sense of that because it's no faster than just SATA, other than small and compact, I guess. But um, We got 14 USB 3.0 ports. I know 10 of them are in the back. Um, and there's two headers on the inside. Um, and two, each header can do two USB 3.0 ports on your case. So that's where you get four. Um, we got six USB 2.0 ports. Two of them are on the back. Um, one of them can be set to the ROG Connect, which I used on the Maximus 5 formula there in the beginning, but that, eh, and I never use it anymore. Um, and four of them are two ports. Be, can't do my math here. Two ports on the inside, equal four ports on the front USB 2. Um, we got the Intel 1218V Gigabit LAN um, that I prefer, prefer Intel over anybody else. A lot of the other stuff is just a bunch of mumbo jumbo junk. I don't need all that. Um, obviously, I just said 802.11 ABG and AC, um, dual band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, up to 1300 megabits, and Bluetooth 4. Um, we got our 8 channel Supreme FX, um, which is a real tech chip in there with just some software over the top of it, and there's some hardware as well. I know there's an amp. Um, ELNA premium audio capacitors, um, shielding that separates it from the board, the same thing I had before with the red, the red light. Um, there's sonic sound stage, um, our sense amp, sense amp that will detect the impedance of the headphones we plug in. I don't have a nice set of headphones, but maybe at some point I will. Uh, but it won't do me a whole lot of good here at the shop because I'd never hear anybody when they walk in the door <laughs> or the phone rings. Um, we got our Sonic Radar 2. I'm kind of curious to try that out. Um, just to give you like a little radar where the sound is coming from. Um, DTS Connect, um, extended ATX form factor, um, 12 by 10.7 inches or 30.5 centimeters by 27.2. door tag here. Put that on the door. <laughs> and we got our three-way SLI bridge, a four-way SLI bridge, nice and pretty black, our regular two-way black cable and our crossfire black cable. Um, what have we got here? Uh, I'm guessing this is for the OC panel. Um, nice braided cable, looks nice. Only complaint I have is they did not cover up all the wires coming out of there. They did on one end, but not the other. Why would you do one end, but not both? Um, we got a bracket here. I think that's something to do with uh, the CPU socket for LN2, something like that I'll never be using. Sweet old user's guide. The useless CD inside that belongs in the garbage already. It's already outdated. Here's our OC panel. And I could do without this thing. But oh no, this is this is the drive bay adapter to put it in your five and a quarter inch drive bay. Our IO shield on the back. Uh, it's kind of a I don't know, it's it's dark. I like that. Um, here is our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna here. Our Q connector. This is something that came in handy on my Maximus. Um, you just plug in all your your uh, front panel connectors and your case into this. Nice and easy. And then you just drop this into your motherboard rather than fiddling with it. Some SATA cables, we said we got one, two, three, four, five pairs of so ten SATA cables here. And looks like half of them are 90 degree angle on one 
and the other half is just straight. Um, oh, these are our temperature little probe sensors that you can plug in three of them and in, in addition to what sensors are already on the board. Uh, let's get stuff back quick. I got it back in there without too much trouble. I know usually that can be pretty challenging. Not now the actual toy itself here. Here is our OC panel, and this guy kind of has your normal mode, which goes in that drive bay and just sits in front of your case. Um, fan control, temperature is a little bit overclocking, and things like that. Or you can do like this. Let's see here, and it will stand up for you on a bench. Um, I can. See See, there's one problem already I don't like is when you, the cable connects on the bottom and there's maybe a half inch of room there. You got a cable plugged in that's fairly big, probably somewhat stiff, and they're making a bend. I could see it wanting to get a little tippy, so I think having it on the bottom is kind of a retarded move. It should be somewhere else on the side, on the back, anywhere but the bottom, really. Um, but yeah. Um, I'll just be using it in the case. I mean, I, might, I got it, I might as well put it in there. Really don't care. And here is the big boy itself. See if we can get it out of the box. There we go. Down. It's got some freaking weight to it, I will say that. That gigabyte board is like a feather compared to this guy. Wow. But I will reseat the camera so we are closer. Alright, now that we're a little closer, we take a look at the back here. We have 10 USB 3.0 ports. It's 10 of them. I don't know how you could possibly use that many, but you have them. Um, two USB 2.0, just plain black ones, and one of them can be set to the ROG Connect. Um, that's where you can like plug it into a laptop and watch your boot codes and temperatures and sensors and things like that. Um, we got a combo PS2 port. Um, we got our clear CMOS button. And I think we got with this one that looks like a chain link is that maybe for the ROG Connect button. I think that's what that is. And we got our Intel Gigabit Ethernet, the red jack here. Um, it is red, it is different. Um, it kind of looks like a killer land, but it's not. Um, that is because they actually designed the inside of this jack differently. Um, it's supposed to be ESD anti static protection that's built into here. Um, that is something that can happen through their Ethernet connection. Um, we got our three Wi-Fi antennas here. These are extremely small compared to the two on the Gigabyte board. They're probably half the size, but three of them, obviously. And we have our audio output. Um, you can tell if they're gold or not. Looks like I see a little bit. It's kind of hard to see. Gonna go around here, we've got our eight pin and a four pin extra CPU power connectors here. Um, the Gigbyte only had a single eight, there was no four. I was kind of surprised there. Um, obviously our four, or four, eight dim channels. Um, our reds and blacks, nice and pretty. Um, we got our PCIe lane switches here one two three and four so you can turn lanes on and off um, I will be taking use of that right away um, the gigabyte board did not have that for some reason I thought it did that's just the overclocking version that did because um, I have three of them 980s to put in here and when I wanted to do best 
yeah, bench marks initially for like two way, um, I can turn the third one off rather than having to unplug it. So I can just plug all three in, set it, and leave it, and then just actually turn that slot off so it's not there. So I am just getting two way. And one way, obviously, I just turn SLI off. But and maybe in the future I'll have a fourth one on the bottom. Who knows? Um, we got our debug code. Um, I think that's pretty much standard nowadays. There are a few out there that do not have one, um, but it does have it. We got our power and reset buttons, which can come in very handy. We got our slow mode, which is for LN2, our little switch here that I will never ever use. Um, I'm OK button if you got memory errors. I've never had to use that before on my Maximus board. Um, a retry button. Um, I did run into this one one time on the gigabit. Um, overclocking a little too much. Um, it would lock up. And this can happen. And even if you hit the reset button, it will not reset. And you pretty much have to unplug the power or plug it from the wall or whatever. Um, if you hit this re reset button, it will actually force it to reset even though it is completely locked. Um, another thing with ASUS boards like these, you can actually hold the power button for five seconds and it will do the same thing. Um, a lot of people don't know that, but it is there. And we also have a retry button as well. Um, if it locks up, you can hit the retry button, it'll restart and exactly as the name implies, it'll retry the same settings again. Um, and the safe mode, safe mode button, um, that will bring you into the UEFI. Um, it will keep all your settings there, but it will load kind of that stock, stock frequency, stock voltage, even though your settings are there. So you don't have to clear it all out and start over again, um, which is handy. Um, our 24 pin connector here, pretty standard. Um, here is our M2 connector. Um, I love the placement on this board. I don't know if anybody else does this, but it's out on the side here. Um, rather than in between your graphics cards, so you don't have to fiddle, on, fiddle around with them to get it in and out. Um, obviously, when I have three in there, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to without removing them. Um, this way, it's kind of chilling all by itself. Um, we've got a USB 3 header here and on the bottom, which I love because if you put a fourth card in here, that bottom one is useless because it, it's going to be so close to that and the USB 3 header they plug in it, I don't think it's going to reach or make it and the gigabyte board it was only the bottom. Um, this one has a second one on the front which is awesome. I love that. Um, we got all our SATA 6 gigabit per second connectors as well as our SATA Express more 6 gigabit in there as well. Um, we got a key bot button that's for that hardware um, hardware level kind of key bindings that you can set up like setting a key to enter the UEFI. You push one button, boom, it goes straight into there. Now that must turn. Dilly, 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 dilly. Um, <coughs> BIOS switch way down in the corner. Um, this will switch it between BIOS 1 and 2 in case you have issues or you have different settings on them or you have one an older version and you want to leave it like that or whatever the case may be. Um, here is where we can plug our Q connector in for the front panel connectors. Nice and easy on there. And here is that ROG external. This is for the OC panel. This guy will plug into there in the bottom right. Um, and that USB. Um, we have our two biases here. Um, they are not soldered. They are little chips. You can pull them out. Um, if something happens and both of them are shot, I don't know how it would, but you can get a new one, pull this out, throw a new one, a new one in, you're good to go. Um, our sound stage to detect our headphone impedance, maybe that is. I'm not 100% sure. Um, let's see, more sensors. Here is a Molex connector for some extra power. Um, why they made it a Molex, I'm not sure. Um, I think usually it's a SATA connector now. Um, Molex is kind of an old, old school thing. I'm surprised it would actually be a Molex connector, to be honest. Um, getting to this corner, we have our Supreme FX, our 8 channel audio. Um, and there is the amp on there, wherever it may be. 
I'm not even sure where it is, but it is there somewhere in our caps. Um, I'm surprised at how small these guys are on the Gigabyte board. They're humongo. Um, tiny little guys. Um, yeah, that's all around the edge. Um, obviously, we got our nice, nice heat sinks here on the VRM, and then it kind of through a heat pipe goes over our back plate here, our IO, IO plate. Um, it is metal. It's not plastic or anything. It's solid metal. I'm sure that's where a lot of the weight is coming from. Um, definitely packs a lot of weight. And um, we got the same old Republic of Gamers block right here, same as the Maximus. I, mean, I think it looks almost identical. Um, we have tons and tons of fan headers on here. It's freaking insane. We got one here, got one here, got one here. That's three, four, five, um, six, seven, and I know there's an eighth, eighth. Eight of them, eight fan headers on, on this board. Um, that is crazy, but cool. Um, but yeah, I think that pretty much covers this beauty here. Ooh, wow. And the chipset heat sink here, we got a nice kind of a back plate here on the back of it. Um, it actually does stick out pretty far. It's not really flat on there at all. There's a pretty good gap in between it. And then we also have a back plate here, heat sink, for all the VRMs across the top. Um, there we go. And obviously our processor back plate as well. Um, I'm seeing a lot of caps and resistors and everything even on that side of the board. So. She looks fairly complicated, and I imagine it would be. Um, but yeah, that should cover it. Um, hopefully this guy works great with my uh, three-way SLI setup, considering the Gigabyte got confused over two. Um, wish me luck.